Hello there boys and girls. This is going to be day two for lesson 2.1, placing the first digit in our quotient. So let's open our Go Math book back to lesson 2.1. Okay, let's quickly review our steps for dividing with the traditional way. First you want to divide, then you're going to multiply, subtract, check, and then you're going to bring down to regroup. I like to remember this as, does McDonald sell cheeseburgers? That's a great way to remember it. Okay, let's go ahead and look at question three. It says 712 divided by 18. I'm going to do this one with you, and then the other ones I'm going to let you go on ahead without me, and we'll check them. All right, so for number three, it says 712 divided by 18. Remember, we're going to first of all look in our hundreds place. Do you see that I have seven groups of 100, but I have eight groups to divide? There's no way I can put these seven mats of 100 into eight different piles. They won't work. So therefore, we're going to have to break it up and regroup it. And we're going to break it up into 71 tens. Therefore, my quotient needs to start right above my tens place, right there. So this will be where we start our quotient. So now we're going to look at the 71 tens, and we're going to divide those into eight groups. I know that if I multiply 8 times 8 is 64, but 8 times 9 is 72. I don't have enough for 8 times 9, so I'm going to put 8 up here for 8 times 8. So 71 divided by 8, I would have 8 in each group. That's my divide step. Now let's multiply. I'm going to multiply what I just divided. 8 times 8 is 64. That means I used up 64 of my tens pieces. Next, we're going to subtract to see how many tens pieces are left. So if I subtract 71 minus 64, I'm going to have 7 pieces left. Now let's go ahead and drop. That was our subtract. Now let's check. 7 is less than 8, so I'm doing well right now. Now we're going to drop down our 2. We're going to bring down the 2 in our 1's place because... That's how many ones that we have, but we also have seven tens. Now remember, seven tens has a value of 70, and we have two ones, therefore we have 72 ones to divide. So now we're going to start back up at step number one, divide. But now I'm dividing my 72 ones. 72 divided into eight different groups. I know that I would have nine in each group, because when I multiply, 9 times 8 is 72. Let's go ahead and subtract to see how many are left, which would be 0. Now, as you can see, 0 is less than 8, therefore I am finished. And there's nothing else to bring down. So, 712 divided by 8 has the value of 89. Okay, friends, what I want you to do now is I want you to rewrite 2117 divided by 3 like this. We're going to put our dividend, 2,117, inside of our box, and our divisor is 3. That's how many groups that you're dividing 2,117 into. I'm going to go ahead and have you pause the video, and I want you to try to go through our steps right here. Now, when you finish with a question, just press the play button again, and we'll see if our answers match. Okay, friends, you should have started out by saying that if I have two one thousands, I cannot put each of the thousands into three different groups because there's only two. Therefore, we're going to look at our hundreds place and we're going to have 21 hundreds. Now, if I have 21 mats or flat pieces, you can put those into three separate groups because I have 21 of them. In fact, I know my multiples of three. I know three times seven is 21. So I'm going to go ahead and you should have put a seven in my hundreds place right there for my quotient. Now let's do step two, which is multiply. Seven times three is 21. Now we can subtract. You should have put zero. Now to check, you can say, I know zero is less than three, so I'm doing great. And then you should have brought down the one in my tens place. Now you need to stop and say, I have one group of tens. Ooh, but I have three groups to divide them into. Therefore, I can't do it. I need to put a zero up in my quotient. And I can multiply 0 times 3 is 0 and subtract. And I have one group of 10 still left. But now I can bring down my 
seven ones. My one group of 10, which is 10 ones, plus my seven ones equals 17 ones. Now let's go back up and divide again. 17 divided by three will be five, because I know six would be too many. That's my division step. Now let's multiply five times three is 15. So I used up 15 of my ones. Let's subtract to see what's left over. I have two ones left over. Let's check, is two less than three? Yes, it is. Now because there's nothing else left to bring down, I am finished. The quotient is gonna be 705 with a remainder of two. Remember, this remainder of two goes right up there. All right, let's take a look at question number seven now. So as you can see, it's written horizontally, but that's okay. We will just rewrite it as 1,812 divided into four groups. So go ahead and try this on your own. Go ahead and follow your division steps. Press pause, and then we'll check it together. All right, you should have started off by noticing that there's only one group of 1,000, but we have four groups. So as you can see, we cannot have each group have a group of 1,000. Therefore, we're going to have to look at our hundreds place and know that we're going to start our quotient right above our hundreds place, and we're going to have 18 hundreds. And with that 18 hundreds, we can put them into four separate groups. So let's go ahead and look. If I have 18 hundreds and I have four groups, I know each group should have had four groups of 100, and I used up 16 of those. So now I'm going to subtract to see how many 100 pieces are left. We have two groups of 100 left. Now I can check and see that 2 is less than 4, therefore I'm doing well. Now we're going to move on to our bringing down step. We just used our hundreds place. So now we'll bring down our tens place, and our tens place has the digit 1. So I had one group of 10. But now I can see that I have 21 tens that I'll be dividing because I had two one hundreds and I have one group of 10. So that would equal 21 tens. So now let's go ahead and divide up our 21 tens into four different groups, and each group should have five groups of 10. There's my division step. Now let's multiply. Five times four is 20. We're gonna subtract to see how many tens I have left. I have one 10 left. And now let's go ahead and check. One is less than four, so I'm doing great. And now let's go ahead and bring down our two ones that are left. So all together, we had one group of 10 and two ones, therefore that equals 12 ones, or 12 units. I can divide my 12 ones into four separate groups, and each group is gonna have three. There's my division step. We're gonna multiply three times four is 12. Let's subtract to see how many is left over. We have zero left over and there's nothing else left to bring down. Zero is less than four, there's no remainder. You should have said there's 453 per group. So let's go ahead and take a look at number eight. It says 3,476 divided by six. Let's go ahead and rewrite that so that way we can set it up to show our division work. 3,476 divided by six. Now remember, you have six groups and you have three one thousands. Can you give those three one thousands, each one of those, to six different groups? No, you can't. So you're going to have to look at your 3,400. So you want to start your quotient right above the four. Go ahead, show your work, pause the video, and we'll check it together. All right, for this one, you should have said that you have 34 one hundreds. So you're going to divide those 34 one hundreds into six separate groups. And you should know that 6 times 5 is 30, so you can have 5 in each group. Now that's your division part. Let's multiply to see how many we used. 5 times 6 is 30. Let's go ahead and subtract. 34 minus 30 will be 4 left over. So I have 4 groups of 100 left over. Now I'm checking. 4 is less than 6. Therefore, I divided that correctly. And now let's go ahead and bring down our tens place. I have seven tens. So you had four one hundreds and seven tens equals 47 tens. Therefore, we can go ahead and divide those 47 tens into six separate groups. 
I'm going to go ahead and put 7 in each group because 7 times 6 is 42. Let's subtract to see how many groups of 10s we have left over. I have 5 left over and I'm going to check 5 is less than 6 so I did do that correctly. And now we can bring down our 6 1s. So remember we have 5 10s and 6 1s which equals 56 1s. So let's go ahead and divide again. 56 ones divided into six groups, that's going to be how many per group? You should have said nine, because nine times six is 54. And when you subtract, you're going to have two as your remainder. Okay, so here are your two homework questions that I want you to do. They're on the back side of your Go Math page. And go ahead and work out questions one and two. You're going to have to show your work, so make sure that you follow our steps. And don't forget to rate yourself, either as a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert. Go ahead and write the number that you feel that you are at the top of that Go Math page. And we will make sure that we come around and check to see if you are a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert when we check homework. So here are the two questions again, and we will check them tomorrow in class, and go ahead and do questions three through six for review as well. We'll check those together as well. Have a great night.